Want to speak real Dutch from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at DutchPod101.com. Hallo allemaal, ik heet Marleen. Hi everybody, I'm Marleen. Welcome to DutchPod101.com's Nederlands in 3 minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Dutch. In the last lesson, we learned the numbers from 1 to 10. Have you forgotten? Here, I'll tell you again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now let's continue from 11. 11. 11. 12. 12. 13. 13. 14. 14. 15. 15. 16. 16. 17. 17. 18. 18. 19. 19. And finally, we have 20. 20. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. These numbers may seem harder to remember, but a lot of them are just the single number you learned from the last lesson with teen added to the end. The rest you will have to memorize. Let's not stop at 20. Counting to 100 is super easy. Now I'll give you the tens. Dertig. Dertig. Veertig. Veertig. Vijftig. Vijftig. Zestig. Zestig. Zeventig. Zeventig. Tachtig. Tachtig. Negentig. Negentig. Honderd. Honderd. While you have to memorize a few of these numbers, there are a couple of tricks that will make memorizing incredibly easy. Notice that all the numbers except 100 consist of a number from 3 to 9, or a variation of it, followed by tig. For example, 50, which means 50. 50. It is composed of 5 which means five, and tig, vijftig. Here's another example. Veertig, which means forty. Veertig is composed of weer, which is a variation of weer, the word for four, and tig, veertig. As for honderd, it sounds a lot like the English hundred and shouldn't be that hard to remember. How do you form compound numbers above twenty in Dutch? This is also quite easy to do. All you need is the tens, the numbers you want to add, and the Dutch word for and, n. Let's try it out. Let's say the word for 56, step by step. 50 is 50. 6 is 6. And finally you need n, and, to combine them. 56. 6 en 50. But be careful! As you can see, instead of placing the number behind the tens as in English, you place the number in front of the ten. So, 56 can be literally translated as 6 and 50. After only two lessons, you are now able to count to 100 in Dutch. In the next lesson, we're going to put your number knowledge to use. Do you have all the skills you need to go shopping in the Netherlands? If not, I'll be waiting for you in our next Nederlands in 3 minuten lesson. Tot ziens!
Hallo allemaal, ik heet Marleen. Hi everybody, I'm Marleen. Welcome to DutchPot101.com's Nederlands in 3 minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Dutch. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase Pardon, spreekt u Engels? Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word pardon, which means excuse me in formal Dutch. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use pardon and other words when apologizing in Dutch. We should use pardon in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, pardon, een koffie alstublieft. Excuse me, a coffee please. We can also use it when asking a question. Pardon, waar is de uitgang? Excuse me, where is the exit? Pardon can also be a formal way to get someone's attention. Another phrase that can be used to get somebody's attention in a formal manner is excuseer. Excuseer. The informal way to say excuse me is sorry. Sorry. Just like pardon or excuseer, we can use sorry when asking a question or when apologizing. All of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is het spijt me. It means I am sorry and can be used in both formal and informal situations. Het spijt me. Let's take a closer look at this expression. First we have het or it. Next we insert the Dutch word for regret, spijt. Me means me. Het spijt me. Now it's time for Marlene's insights. Please remember that in Holland, if we accidentally bump into someone, we don't say, I'm sorry, het spijt me. Instead we say, pardon, excuseer or sorry. Are you able to count in Dutch? In the next lesson, we will learn the numbers in Dutch from 1 to 10. I'll be waiting for you in our next Nederlands in 3 minuten lesson. Tot ziens! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Hello and welcome to this next Dutch lesson where we will talk about the must-know phrases in Dutch. My name is Stella and I will be teaching you some very useful basic phrases in Dutch today. So let's get started. The first word of the day is Hallo. Hello. Hallo. Hello. So as you can see, the standard Dutch greeting is very similar to the English one. Um, now, if you feel like mixing it up a little bit, you can also say hoi, uh, which is our version of hey, and it's slightly more informal. Now, if you want to be a little less casual, for example, if you arrive at work in the morning, um, you could say this. Goedemorgen. Good morning. Goedemorgen. Goedemorgen. Now, if you want to be a little less casual, for example, if you arrive at work in the morning, you could say this. Goedemorgen. Goedemorgen. Good morning. You can also say this to anyone else you meet in the morning, um, for example, in a shop or the person you wake up next to. If it's in the afternoon, you could say this. Goedemiddag. Good afternoon. Goedemiddag. Goedemiddag. This one is much more formal than uh, Goedemorgen. Um, in the Netherlands, you can say Goedemorgen to anyone, but Goedemiddag is really only used when starting a conversation with someone you don't know. For example, at the supermarket or at the beginning of a phone call. Goedenavond. Good evening. Goedenavond. Goedenavond. Good evening. This one is pretty formal. You do best to only use it, for example, when entering a restaurant or something like that. Who hate you? What's your name? Who hate you? Who hate you? What's your name? Bear in mind that the Dutch have a formal U, which is U, and an informal U, which is J. So if you're asking a child um, or a classmate what his or her name is, you should probably go with Who hate you? Now, after learning someone's name, you'll likely be asked um, to say yours, to which you could say Ik ben I'm Ik ben Enter your name here. So in my case, it would be 
Ik ben Stella. Ik ben Stella. I'm Stella. It's just your basic introduction. After you've both stated your names, uh, you'll likely shake hands and say something like this. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Nice to meet you. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Nice to meet you. Now remember the difference between je and u. Um, if you're meeting a new client at work, uh, you may want to say leuk u te ontmoeten, just to class it up a bit. Another useful sentence right after our introductions is Hoe gaat het? How are you? Hoe gaat het? Hoe gaat het? How are you? It's a nice way to get to know a little bit about the other person. If they feel like sharing, most of the time though, they will probably just say that they're fine and leave it at that. And that would sound like this. Het gaat prima, dank je. En met jou? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Het gaat prima, dank je. En met jou? Het gaat prima, dank je. En met jou? I'm fine, thanks. And you? So when people ask you this, it's probably better not to launch into a 15-minute speech about how you are really doing. Um, keep it short and to the point. Now, here comes one that's rather ambiguous. Alstublieft. Please. Alstublieft. Alstublieft. Please. First of all, when saying this to someone you know well, um, say alsjeblieft. Je, u, remember? Um, but whichever one you use, it can also mean here you go. Um, so you say it when you're, when you're asking someone for something, uh, but also when handing it over. It's pretty confusing, right? Crazy Dutchies. When someone hands you something, um, or someone has done something nice for you, the polite thing to do is say this. Dank je. Thank you. Dank je. Dank je. Thank you. And again, if you're in a formal situation, say Dank u. Next one is uh, what you say after that. Graag gedaan. You're welcome. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan. Now this is probably a hard one um, because of the notorious Dutch ch sound. Um, just remember if you pull this off, you'll sound very Dutch indeed. The next two are really short and to the point. Ja. Yeah. Yes. Ja. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. Yes. Nee. No. Nee. Nee. No. Just your basic yes and no. Use them wisely. The next one is easy. Um, you'll all recognize it immediately. Okay. 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 And of course it means okay. It's the same word and you can basically spell it any way you like, so go to town. Excuseer. Excuse me. Excuseer. Excuseer. Excuse me. You can say this if you want to pass by someone and you need them to move, for example. The second way to apologize in Dutch is Het spijt me. I'm sorry. Het spijt me. Het spijt me. I'm sorry. You can also say uh, sorry if you've done a small thing wrong, but if you've really made a mess of things, um, you may want to go all the way and just go with Het spijt me. So let's move on to a few short questions. First one is Hoe laat is het? What time is it? Hoe laat is het? Hoe laat is het? What time is it? A literal translation would be how late is it? Um, but we use this whenever we just want to ask for the time. Waar is het toilet? Where is the restroom? Waar is het toilet? Waar is het toilet? Where is the restroom? So I'm sure you recognize the word toilet in there. Um, but if you want to sound very Dutch, use WC for water closet. So then you would say, waar is de WC? The next one isn't a question, but a request. Wacht even. Wait a moment. Wacht even. Wacht even. Wait a moment. You can use this if someone um, is talking to you while you're busy, uh, or if you need someone to not move while you grab something from a different aisle, etc. It's a very useful sentence. So if you're in a shop and you want to ask how much something is, you can ask Hoeveel kost dit? How much is this? Hoeveel kost dit? How much is this? Though usually when you're in the Netherlands, um, there will be clear price tags on everything. Um, the Dutch don't haggle. <laughs> if you've eaten at a restaurant uh, and you want the check, say Mag ik de rekening alstublieft? Could I get the check please? Mag ik de rekening alstublieft? 
Mag ik de rekening alstublieft? Could I get the check, please? Now remember, um, Dutch people will often split the bill. Um, so if you want to ask for the check, but you don't want to necessarily imply that you'll be the one paying for it, um, you could say, mogen wij de rekening alstublieft? Which means, um, could we get the check, please? Here's a word you really need to know, um, but you probably already do. Help. 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 It just means help. Sometimes life will throw you a bone. Tot later. See you later. If you're taking leave of someone, um, you can say tot later. Tot later. See you later. You can also just say later. Uh, that's been catching on quickly lately. Here's a slightly more formal version of saying goodbye. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Goodbye. You're technically saying the same thing you were earlier. Um, it just means that you'll see each other again. But this is the one you would use in a grocery store. Um, whereas you would say tot later or later to a friend. So that's all for today. Um, these were the must-know phrases in Dutch. Uh, if there's anything missing from this list, make sure to tell me in the comments. Um, like and subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like to learn more Dutch, visit um, dutchpod101.com. Thanks and goodbye. Hello allemaal, ik heet Marleen. Hi everybody, I'm Marleen. Welcome to DutchPod101.com's Nederlands in 3 minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Dutch. In the last lesson we learned how to count in Dutch. I hope you spent some time practicing the numbers, because they will come in handy for this lesson. We're going to learn how to go shopping in the Netherlands. Before we go, you need to know how to say, how much is it? Hoeveel kost het? Hoeveel kost het? Okay, are you ready to go shopping in the Netherlands? Let's go! Let's say you see something you like and want to ask the shopkeeper how much it costs. The first thing to say is Pardon? Do you remember what that means? It is Excuse me? Pardon? Hoeveel kost het? Pardon? Hoeveel kost het? At this point, the shopkeeper can answer by saying Het kost. It costs. For example, Het kost 55 euro. What number is 55? It's 55. So this means it costs 55 euro. Or he could say Het kost 74 euro. It costs 74 euro. Now it's time for Marlene's insights. Instead of using it, het, you can be more specific by saying this, dit, or that, dat. So you can say, hoeveel kost dit? How much is this? Hoeveel kost dit? Hoeveel kost dat? How much is that? Hoeveel kost dat? So, at this point, can you count a euro in Dutch? We are going to learn how to do this and much more in the next lesson. I'll be waiting for you in our next Nederlands in 3 minuten lesson. Tot ziens! Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Dutch listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Een vrouw vraagt een winkelbediende iets in een boekenwinkel. Welk boek wilt de vrouw zien? 
Ik wil graag een boek van die plank bekijken. Welk boek wilt u? Die ene over auto's. Momentje, alstublieft. Deze? Ja, die. Alstublieft. Welk boek wilt de vrouw zien? Een vrouw vraagt een winkelbediende iets in een boekenwinkel. Welk boek wilt de vrouw zien? Ik wil graag een boek van die plank bekijken. Welk boek wilt u? Die ene over auto's. Momentje, alstublieft. Deze? Ja, die. Alstublieft. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description. Hello, allemaal. Ik heet Marleen. Hi, everybody. I'm Marleen. Welcome to DutchPot101.com's Nederlands in 3 minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Dutch. Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Hi, I'm Marleen. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Dutch expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Dutch. We'll start speaking right away, but first it's important to clarify that in Dutch, there's a difference between the formal and the informal language. Let's first see how Dutch people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Hi, I'm Marleen. Nice to meet you. Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Start by saying, hallo, ik heet. Then say your name. Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Finally, say, leuk je te ontmoeten. Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Leuk je te ontmoeten. And now, let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Goedendag, ik heet Marleen van den Berg. Aangenaam. Good day, I'm Marleen van den Berg. Pleasure to meet you. Goedendag, ik heet Marleen van den Berg. Aangenaam. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these expressions together. Hallo has been substituted with the formal greeting Goedendag, which is Dutch for good day. Ik heet Marleen has not been changed. Ik heet simply means I am called. However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name. So I said Marleen van den Berg. Here you would say your full name. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Dutch is Hallo, ik heet Marleen. Leuk je te ontmoeten. The formal way to introduce yourself is Goedendag, ik heet Marleen van den Berg. Aangenaam. Now it's time for Marleen's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. If you are not sure whether to use Leuk je te ontmoeten or Aangenaam, just say simply Aangenaam as this expression can be used in both the formal and informal introduction. If you use the correct sentence with Dutch people, they're definitely going to be impressed. That's it for this lesson. Do you know how we say thank you in Dutch? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next Nederlands in 3 minuten lesson. Tot ziens! Hallo allemaal, ik heet Marleen. Hi everybody, I'm Marleen. Welcome to DutchPot101.com's Nederlands in 3 minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Dutch. In the previous lesson we learned how to introduce ourselves in Dutch. In this lesson 
we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Ben je er klaar voor? Are you ready? Let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Bedankt. Bedankt. Bedankt means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add zeer at the beginning. Zeer bedankt. Zeer means a lot. So zeer bedankt is like saying thank you very much. During the last lesson, we discussed the informal and the formal way of speaking Dutch. Bedankt is the casual way to thank someone. If you want to be more formal, there's another phrase you should use. Dank u wel. Dank u wel. Let's break this phrase down. Dank is thank and u is a formal word for you. We will discuss Dutch pronouns in more depth in a later lesson. Finally, wel means a lot. The full sentence once again is dank u wel. Actually, there's also an informal form of the expression dank u wel. In an informal setting, the correct expression is dank je wel. Dank je wel. The u from the expression dank u wel is simply replaced by je. Je is the informal word for you. How do you answer? It's easy. Here's the most common response. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan can be used with just about anybody. Literally, this phrase means happily done or I did it with pleasure. So when someone is saying bedankt to you, we can simply reply with graag gedaan. Now it's time for Marlene's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use bedankt, dank u wel or dank je wel, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Bedankt can be used with just about anyone, anywhere and at any time. Do you know what tot ziens means? In our next lesson you'll learn this and other greetings in Dutch. Tot ziens! Ik heet Marleen. Hi everybody, I'm Marleen. Welcome to DutchPod101.com's Nederlands in 3 minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Dutch. In the previous lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Dutch. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Dutch, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the informal way to say it. Spreek je Engels? Spreek je Engels? In Dutch, verbs change depending on the pronoun that is used. Please notice the word je in the middle of the sentence. Remember that this is the informal way to say you? The first word is the verb spreek, which means to speak. Because it is referring to je, it is conjugated to spreek je. And you probably recognize Engels to be English. Spreek je Engels? To learn how to use different verbs, like spreken, please look at our absolute beginner series on DutchPod101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. We're now going to make this sentence formal. First, we need to use the formal version of you which is u. If we change the word for you, we will say the verb differently. It becomes spreekt instead of spreek, like in the informal version. Spreekt u Engels? Spreekt u Engels? Adding pardon, excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Pardon, spreekt u Engels? Pardon, spreekt u Engels? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ja, yes, ja. Een beetje, a little. Een beetje. Nee, ik spreek geen Engels. No, I don't speak English. Nee, ik spreek geen Engels. Since the last one is a negative statement, we need to say geen after the verb spreken. 
Notice also that the verb spreek is slightly different than spreken. Remember, the verb changes depending on the pronoun used. We are now talking about ik, Dutch for I. Thus, I do not speak is ik spreek geen. Now it's time for Marlene's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Dutch people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute Engels with Italians for Italian, Duits for German, Spans for Spanish, Frans for French. In this lesson, we mentioned the expression pardon, but did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Dutch. It's never too late to show your good manners with Dutch people. I'll see you in our next Nederlands in 3 minuten lesson. Tot ziens! Hallo allemaal, ik heet Marleen. Hi everybody, I'm Marleen. Welcome to DutchPot101.com's Nederlands in 3 minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Dutch. In the previous lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Dutch. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Ben je er klaar voor? Are you ready? Let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It's just one word. Bedankt. Bedankt. Bedankt means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add zeer at the beginning. Zeer bedankt. Zeer means a lot, so zeer bedankt is like saying thank you very much. During the last lesson, we discussed the informal and the formal way of speaking Dutch. Bedankt is the casual way to thank someone. If you want to be more formal, there's another phrase you should use. Dank u wel. Dank u wel. Let's break this phrase down. Dank is thank and u is a formal word for you. We will discuss Dutch pronouns in more depth in a later lesson. Finally, wel means a lot. The full sentence once again is dank u wel. Actually, there's also an informal form of the expression dank u wel. In an informal setting, the correct expression is dank je wel. Dank je wel. The u from the expression dank u wel is simply replaced by je. Je is the informal word for you. How do you answer? It's easy. Here's the most common response. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan can be used with just about anybody. Literally, this phrase means happily done or I did it with pleasure. So when someone is saying bedankt to you, we can simply reply with graag gedaan. Now it's time for Marlene's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use bedankt, dank u wel or dank je wel, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Bedankt can be used with just about anyone, anywhere and at any time. Do you know what tot ziens means? In our next lesson, you'll learn this and other greetings in Dutch. Tot ziens! Hallo allemaal, ik heet Marleen. Hi everybody, I'm Marleen. Welcome to DutchPot101.com's Nederlands in 3 minuten. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Dutch. In the last lesson, we learned some phrases used when apologizing in Dutch, including het spijt me and sorry. In this lesson, we are going to learn numbers in Dutch. Yes, numbers. Nummers. We'll learn 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. 3 minuten. Are you ready? Let's start. 1. Eén. Twee. Twee. Drie. Drie. Vier. Vier. Vijf. Vijf. 
Zes. Zes. Zeven. Zeven. Acht. Acht. Negen. Negen. Tien. Tien. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Eén. Twee. Drie. Vier. Vijf. Zes. Zeven. Acht. Negen. Tien. Great job! What is before één? Do you know? The word for zero is nil. Nil. Now you don't have any more excuses. You can give your friends your cell phone number in Dutch. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase mijn nummer is, which means my number is. Mijn nummer is. Mijn nummer is nul, zes, negen, twee, één, drie, vijf, acht, zeven, vier. Can you read it by yourself? Nul, zes, negen, twee, één, drie, vijf, acht, zeven, vier. Perfect! Now it's time for Marleen's insights. When we go to the post office in the Netherlands, we sometimes have to stand in line with a number. When it's your turn to check out, they yell out nummer 1, nummer 2, and so on. Learn your numbers well, so you can be ready. Do you know the Dutch word for 100? Here's a hint, it's very similar to the English word. In the next lesson, we are going to learn the numbers from 11 to 100 in Dutch. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson, from 1 to 10. Tot ziens! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.